So finally, in this third video, what we'd like to do is just um, put the solutions, put the solutions to video two, and you can compare your results with the results I'm going to put in here. So if I'm subtracting, I really just want, what well, the easiest thing to do is just grab that, not sure if you use the same method, use that, and then instead of a Neg uh, plus we put a negative, multiply, get rid of that, instead of a plus we put a multiply for divide, same thing. That's essentially what they look like. Okay, it's, They're complaining about um, blank lines between these functions. For this environment I have to spread it out. It's underlying um, the word multiply, I'm not sure why, but that's essentially it. I've now built four very simple functions. Um, they're so simple, the question is always why Why bother? But we're dealing with a concept. So all I have to do here is if I replace it with subtract and spell it correctly, of course, um, but hopefully we'll, we'll throw up some errors through the process. Let's run it, execute it, enter two numbers, let's say 34, 67. The answer is minus 33. Nice, that one works. Let's do multiply. Swap that in for multiply. Run that. Let's enter two numbers. Let's take two comma five. Oh, and we have an error. Good. What's the error say? It's called a name error, different type of error. And it says multiply is not defined. Now what this type of error often means actually, if you look at the line it's thrown at 38, which is this line here, it actually means that you are trying to use the multiply function, but you've probably spelt it wrong. I've got multiply here. Up here, I misspelt it when I defined it. Multiply. Very useful for you to see these because as programmers, you need to be able to fix them. So I've corrected that name and that name, and let's see whether that eliminates this name error. Yes, it has. So we're going to multiply 2, 5, and it's 10. I'll let you test the divide um, and I'll come round off this particular introduction um, to um, functions by saying there are essentially um, three or four different variations on how functions work. Okay, so let's look at the variations on a separate piece of paper. Right, so with a def you have your function name, right? And here you have what are called your parameters. So you'll have parameter one, and this is just a technical word which means the, um, a, the value you're gonna send in. But you can have tons of parameters. They can be of different types of data as well. The next thing to note is that your, your function, so the other crucial element of a function is that some functions simply execute, right, simply run code. And it's a simple way of organizing that code. So it makes your code nice and uh, easy to see. But more often than not, functions are really all about um, doing something and giving you a value back, returning some value. And so they're very, very powerful. They are almost like the atoms or molecules of a computer system. Um, functions, once you get your head around functions, you will, you will be spending a long time deciding, should this go in a function? What should I put in the function? What do I pass to the function? And what do I want to get back from this function? As a programmer, the questions you ask all the time and you often find yourself moving code around constantly. So that's the end of the introductory. And what we'll do in the next series of videos is give you some more challenging situations with functions.